Hello, folks. Saturn was at its closest point to us a couple of days ago with a magnitude of 0.01. And, you know, tonight it's going to be 0.02. So it's slowly going to be drifting away from us. So if you want to capture it, um, don't wait too long. And I wanted to show you a few things I learned uh, while I was out there capturing it. And uh, this is uh, what the output file looks like from SharpCap. And this was recorded at a slightly high, not not the not a high resolution, but I think it was around 480 by 480. And I always thought if you go at a lower resolution, uh, Saturn will appear bigger. But really, now now watch this when I go at an even lower resolution. Saturn looks bigger. This resolution is uh, 320 by 240. But all you've really done is clip off the space around Saturn. But Saturn itself is getting the same amount of pixels. So um, even though Saturn looks bigger while you're capturing it, uh, the output is not going to be any bigger. And here's an example of what I was talking about. The 480 by 480 version of Saturn, this is what it produced. And um, the 320 by 240, that's what it produced. So if you look side by side, Saturn is not getting any bigger all the higher resolution did was capture more space around Saturn, which is very good if you want to capture moons around the planet, that you would want to go with definitely a higher resolution. But if all you really want is Saturn itself, it, it might be better to go with the lower resolution because the difference in file size, if, if hard drive space is an issue, is that the video file on this version of Saturn was less than 200 megabytes. And with this one, uh, the file size was over a half gig. So if file space is an issue, um, take that into consideration. Hey, the next thing I wanted to show you is Auto Stacker. Now it was hazy that night I was capturing Saturn. The haze was getting thinner and thicker, and I think it was impacting how Saturn looked in Auto Stacker. And uh, sometimes it was looking like this, blue. And I, I sent a message to my friend Doug, and I said, hey, Saturn's supposed to be blue. Of course, I knew it wasn't. And he directed me to this setting in Auto Stacker. I had it on Auto Detect. That doesn't always work. It's possible if your data is a little too bad, you're going to have to force the issue. And what I did is I went into Force Bear RGGB, and that fixed the issue. That that looked more like the way Saturn was going to be. So um, if you're ever if you're using Auto Stacker. Sometimes auto detect isn't going to work for you and just play around with these other settings and you might get to what uh, you're actually expecting Saturn to look like. So this is the final output of what I captured that night. And the, the third thing I, I realized is that I really need a Barlow lens. Trying to capture it with the 2000 focal length on my SCT, uh, Saturn was coming out way too small and if I uh, zoom in it just looks more pixelated and when i looked in astrobin the best pictures i saw out there they were using 5000 focal length 6000 focal length because when it's this small maybe somebody else could have done something but i had a hard time trying to get detail i i was hoping to get some some belt structures in the main planet here but i i just couldn't do anything and this is what i got i went through a few iterations Like those. So I'm not sure which one I like, but I, I'm going to have to go out there again and at least use a. I have a two times Barlow lens that will take my focal length up to 4,000. Not even sure if that's going to be enough, but I'm going to try it on another night. We'll have to see. So uh, that's that's all I got. Thanks for listening. You might have to watch this full screen to see Saturn. It's it's that small. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later.